have opened my eyes and now I've seen that I have the capability to actually be a developer in the future with the knowledge I've gained here. Cosmos is a great summer program for high school students and what it does is it introduces them to science, technology, um, engineering or math, so STEM. There's 10 different programs, there's 10 different clusters that students can enroll in. And there's chemistry, there's Mackey, there's uh, computer science. And our cluster is specifically uh, computers in everyday life. Basically you want to export it. This year there were over 800 applicants for Cosmos and there's about 200 students that um, are selected. About a third or so of them are financial aid students and so um, a good number of them have limited experience in having any kind of opportunity like this. I'm actually from like the south side of Los Angeles, not like the greatest side. I come from a very underprivileged place in LA. I was researching things online, what can I do to like stay productive over the summer? And something that popped up was Cosmos summer program. I found it interesting because it was a way to introduce kids into STEM, something I was interested in. And I was the first person to introduce it to my school and I'm the first person to ever be admitted from my school to this. Okay, how do you turn this off? Just pick it up? It's a phenomenal journey that the students go through academically. Um, they also go through a journey socially and personally. Um, the program does really well in developing both sides of the students so that they can be successful in both arenas. I was definitely nervous about both. I was worried that people were going to know like exactly what was happening before they came here academically, but I think everyone just kind of figuring things out as they go. And then personally, I was kind of worried that I like would meet people but I wouldn't be able to like make friends very quickly or like people would know each other beforehand. But that was actually, that wasn't very hard because by the second or third day then I'd already made a lot of friends. The first thing that I really wanted to learn from this program was to learn how to really be independent because I'm not used to being away from my family. We much proved to ourselves that we are capable of really knowing how to cope. My goal for this was to create my own app but looking back, I think I learned a lot more than that. I got a taste of what college life is. I was like away from my own parents and it was cool to experience that. We make a project-based curriculum. So everything they do is a project. And what's nice about that is if you were to, to enroll in undergraduate classes, there's a ton of content that we have to cover and, and make sure they understand for next classes and so on and so forth. But we're not worried about the knowledge for their future prereqs here. We're just making sure they build exciting things and have, have a good time. This is a banana. It's a banana piano. As you touch it, it plays a sound. So it goes from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So an octave. As you touch this and touch the banana, it creates a closed circuit. And it compares the resistance of me and the bananas to the circuit's resistance. And if the circuit's resistance is greater than the banana's resistance, it plays the sound. As a, as a teacher, those moments when they realize they can do this, it, it, that's why we do this job. Like the, that's the kind of the best moments we have as, as teachers. So we can draw oh, okay. Degrees, but that doesn't really work. Students get to see what computer science is like beyond, um, I guess, the stereotypical version that's shown in movies and TV. Um, that the people are of all walks of life and all types of interests and it's in, literally involved in every aspect of society today and so I think the life-changing moment for them is to know that they can contribute to that um, especially when they came here with little to no experience. I've seen um, alumni from my cluster come back and become students here at UCSD and go into the CSE field which I think is um, a powerful sort of testimonial to the work that they've gotten exposed to and that they've done during their time at Cosmos. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the end of Cosmos. Those final presentations are a really exciting moment, I think, for the students. They've been working so hard, especially this last week, trying to put together this project, make sure it comes together successfully. And then they present it and they see their, their family happy with them and they see the other groups kind of wowed by what they achieved. And then they have this moment to kind of look back and say, I've been here four weeks and I, I didn't know anything about programming and I just built a robot that can move around the room based on things that I'm doing. How, how did I achieve that so quickly? And they're realizing that they had a lot of fun doing it. 
Um, so I think there's this kind of bittersweet moment of realizing how much they achieved and then realizing it's time to go home. This group of students has been phenomenal. I was going to tell my counselor I would make a presentation about Cosmos so we could recruit more students to get this new experience of the college life and the world of STEM because in my area STEM isn't really a big thing but I feel like it should be something that a lot, not, not a lot of people of my ethnicity do. Um, I really want to expose people to the world of STEM and I really want to make a change in my community.